Hello everyone, so here's a quick overview how to control Apple TV from your Mac. Uh, I actually didn't do it, but I just found this uh, help uh, article from Apple and I think it's pretty interesting. So uh, you can basically, there is a tool which is called Apple Configurator or Apple Configurator 2. This is the one in Mac App Store. And basically using uh, this tool, you can actually control apps and like profiles on your Apple TV from Mac. So here's what you will need. The latest version of Apple Configurator, iTunes and Mac's, Mac OS High Sierra or later on your Mac. And Apple TV 4K or Apple TV HD with the latest version of TV OS. So just Apple TV 4 won't work, only the latest version of TV, uh, Apple TV. A display connected to your Apple TV, your Mac and Apple TV connected to the same Wi-Fi or Ethernet network. And you will need to connect your Apple TV to Apple Configurator. Uh, yeah, so just connect to Ethernet, Apple TV, and then stop at the pair your remote screen. So Apple TV is already set up. Go to settings, remotes and devices, remote app and devices. On your Mac, open Apple Configurator. Choose pair devices, click pair next to Apple TV, and there's six di digit pin uh, that appears on Apple TV, and then select Apple TV device in the Apple configurator. So that's about that. Uh, you will need to try that out. Uh, if you want to prepare an Apple TV, uh, start with Apple TV that hasn't been set up or erase it first. Uh, and then you can on Opel Apple configurator on your Mac. So this way you just control it from your Mac, click prepare and follow on screen instructions. So after you connect uh, your Apple TV this way, you can basically add apps on profiles. Uh, yeah, to add apps or profiles, select your Apple TV, click add in the toolbar and drag a profile. So basically here it works. Uh, easy to deploy iPad, iPhone, iPad Touch and Apple TV devices in your school or business. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty neat app actually. I, I would really like to try it out. Uh, so here with Apple Configurator you are able to update software, install apps and configuration profiles, rename and change wallpapers and devices, export device information documents and much more. You can also inspect any device to see details like serial number and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, hope some of it will be useful and you might try it out. Or if you tried it out, please leave comments below this video. Yeah, thanks for watching.